हाई स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल वेलकम टू नंदा क्लासेस टूडे वी आर डिस्कस क्लास टेन केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर फोर कार्बोन्स एंड इट्स कॉम्पाउंड्स वी आर नो दैट द सी बी एस सी आई रिड्यूज द थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ द सिलेबस सो मोस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ दिस कार्बन कॉम्पाउंड्स आर डिलीटेड ओके सो द मेन पार्ट दो आर प्रेजेंट इन द the current sessions in your syllabus first complete this one and the remaining those are important for your further or higher classes this one also we are discuss okay so the syllabus present in this sessions for <laughs> it is only introduction is there okay the first one it is covalent bonding in carbon compounds how the carbon compounds are form covalent bond okay and the second one versatile nature of carbon compounds because the carbon is the most <laughs> important elements after oxygen and hydrogens it is the third most important element of okay carbons that why their natures also importance and the third one that is homologous series how the carbon and the carbon compounds are form homologous series ओके दिस थ्री टॉपिक आर इन योर सिलेबस फॉर दिस सेशंस एंड द मोस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक आर ऑलरेडी डिलीटेड ड्यू टू द लैक ऑफ टाइम दैट इज द इन नॉमेन क्लचर ऑफ सब ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पाउंड्स दैट इज द सैचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बोन्स एंड अन सैचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बोन्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सैचुरेटेड एंड अन सैचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बोन्स एंड देर फंक्शनल ग्रुप देर केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज their uses and the most important also one topic that is the so and detergents this one also deleted from your syllabus okay first we are discuss those are present in your syllabus okay and after this completed we are a quick revision of okay total chapter so let start today our topic is the water covalent bonding in carbon compounds okay what are covalent bonding in carbon compounds how the carbon compound form covalent bonding so before starting this one first we have to know that about carbons and the introductions about carbons so carbons is the order c mainly the symbols of the carbon order c okay and the carbons are the most important elements or the third most important elements that is after oxygen and hydrogens and the occurrence of the earth crust the carbon is the mainly uh, derived in the form of water coal okay and they are latin name the carbons are water carbo c a r b o carbo means water coal mainly the carbons are present in the form of coals okay the earth crust only 0.02 percent okay the earth crust only 0.02 percent of carbons which is present in the form of carbonates and hydrocarbonates and petroleum okay petroleum product are many is there already we are no in the lower classes what are petroleum okay and atmosphere also contain uh, that is the 0.03 percent that is the carbon dioxide what are co2 so the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide it is also on form of carbons okay so the carbons mainly a uh, present in living organism also the animals and plant their body also are made up of what are carbons okay our body also made up of carbons the animal body the plant it is they are also made up of carbons so all the living body also contain carbons so let's start the covalent bonding in carbons okay so the carbons are form by the sharing of electrons okay the carbon compound form
फॉर्म बाय शेयरिंग शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज कॉल्ड कोहलेंड कॉम्पाउंड and the bond which are present which are present in covalent compound are called covalent bond covalent bond ओके, सो द कॉम्पाउंड विच आर फॉर्म बाय शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर कॉल्ड कोवलेंट कॉम्पाउंड्स एंड द बॉन्ड विच आर प्रेजेंट इन कोवलेंट कॉम्पाउंड्स आर कॉल्ड कोवलेंट बॉन्ड ओके सो द कोवलेंट बॉन्ड आर फॉर्म बाय द शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दिस वन आर द कार्बोन आर शेयर द बॉन्ड विद द कार्बोन आटम्स और द अदर एलिमेंट्स लाइक हाइड्रोजेन्स ओके ऑक्सीजेन्स ओके नाइट्रोजेन्स दे आर शेयर the same elements and the different elements also okay so because the carbons uh, their outermost shell are the order four electrons the carbon that is c the atomic number of carbon are order six okay and in the six electrons then the first cell are the two electrons and the second cell are the four electrons k cell two electron or l cell Four electrons. The outermost cell are the four electrons. That why it is uh, not easy to lose four electrons, and they have the positive charge. And it is not easy to gain four electrons and then occupy what are negative charge. So we know that the outermost cells are the eight electrons. Then they have the stable. Okay, they do not lose or gain electrons. so due to the stable electronic configurations it is difficult to lose four electrons and gain four electron also that why they are the they do not lose or gain electrons they are sharing their outermost four electrons of of carbons or other elements of carbons that why the carbons are form what are four valency four number of valency that why the carbon circle what are tetra valency also what are tetra valency tetra means four because the carbons are four valence electron tetra valency of carbons so we are discuss some example how the carbon are form covalent bonding or example of some covalent bonding compounds okay example of some covalent bonding compound covalent bond means they are sharing of okay electrons and they are form water molecules or compound only carbon not other elements also they are share their electrons and form covalent bonding like hydrogens in case of hydrogens there are hydrogens are the one mole one electrons so other hydrogen also one electrons they are share their one one electrons and form water is to molecule so in between the hydrogen and hydrogens which are bond are present covalent bond because they are formed by the sharing of electrons so like this oxygens chlorine okay carbon dioxides n2 nitrogen molecules okay all these are the form covalent bond by sharing of electrons now discuss some example which are form covalent bonding example of covalent bonding first one are the formation of hydrogen molecule
formation of hydrogen molecule that is H2 molecules. First one atomic number of hydrogen. What are the atomic number of hydrogen? That is 1. Because the hydrogen is the first element of the periodic tables and the electronic configuration of hydrogens are electronic configuration of hydrogen are 1. K cell. The first cells only K cell are 1 electrons. So the 1 electrons in the K cells okay, so need to 1 more electron to fill the K cell completely because the K cells are order 2 electrons are required to complete these cells and L cell order 2, 8, K, L, M, M cell 18 and N cell 32. This is the octet in octet rules we have to know that according to their cells they, they have to need a fixed number of electron to complete their cell. So that's why they are bonded with the other hydrogen atoms and form covalent bonding with hydrogen atoms. So it is one hydrogen molecule they have one electrons plus or react with other hydrogen molecules they are also one electrons and these two electrons are sharing sharing their one one electrons and form what are H2 H2 molecules okay and in between what are hydrogens and hydrogens in between the hydrogens and hydrogens the bond is present and this bond are known as what are covalent bond covalent bond in between one hydrogen atoms and other hydrogen atoms this bond are formed by the sharing of electrons that why this bond are called what are covalent bond and this compound are called what are covalent compounds so in case of oxygen also they are sharing electrons and form oxygen molecule so the next example of formation of oxygen molecule O2 molecule formation of oxygen molecule in case of oxygen the atomic number of oxygen atomic number of oxygen is the water 8 because in oxygen 8 electrons are present and the electronic configuration of oxygen that is a 2 and 6 K cells are the 2 electrons and L cell are the 6 electrons so outermost cells are the 6 electrons and then 2 electrons are need to complete this outermost cells or fill up this outermost cells that why they are bonded with the other oxygen atom the oxygens outermost cell are 6 electron 2 2 4 and 2 6 plus oxygens also another oxygen 2 2 4 and 6 so their outermost 2 2 electrons they have sharing 2 2 electrons they have sharing so the electrons we have to represent in dotted or cross line also here these two electrons and these two electrons are shared. So now the outermost cells are the 8 electron 2, 2, 4 and this 2, 6 and 2, 8. This is 4, 6 and 2, 8. So that's why here 2, 2 electrons are shared. That's why in between the oxygen and oxygens 
what are double bond are present in oxygen molecule two bond is there that why they are form double bond of covalent two covalent bond okay two covalent bond in between the oxygens and oxygen atom because they are share two two electrons next the formation of nitrogen molecule the third example is in nitrogen similar nitrogens third one formation of nitrogen molecule formation of n2 molecule nitrogen the atomic number are 7 in nitrogen 7 electrons are present and the electronic configuration of nitrogens in k cell 2 electrons and l cell 5 electrons so outermost cell are the 5 electrons so three electrons are required to complete these cells that's why they are sharing by three three electrons with other nitrogen atom so one nitrogen atom plus another nitrogen atom Okay, so both these nitrogen atom are shares three three electrons. So here share three electrons mean in between the nitrogen and nitrogen triple bond are present. One, two, and three. So there are three electrons are share that why in between the nitrogens and nitrogen three covalent bond are formed. Okay. So in case of hydrogens they are share one electrons that why the hydrogens are hydrogens are bonded with one covalent bond so in case of oxygen molecules they are share two electrons so in between the oxygen and oxygen atom the double bond are present and they are sharing by two covalent bond or they are present by two covalent bond like this in case of nitrogen molecules okay they are share three electrons so in between the nitrogen and nitrogen atom three covalent bond are present so this one are the formation of covalent bond in similar atom similar means hydrogen hydrogen oxygen oxygen nitrogen nitrogen how they are formed what are covalent bonds so next part we are discuss about the covalent bond are formed by dissimilar atom dissimilar atom means carbon hydrogen carbon nitrogens carbon oxygens how they are formed covalent bonds